In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to set up Zifra's Zonos on your local machine in Windows 11. We'll be covering all the potential pitfalls and errors that you can face while trying to set up Zonos. I made this video because while trying to set up Zonos myself, I ran into error after error after error and it took me almost 4 hours just to install Zonos on my Windows 11 laptop. So I made this video to compile all of the errors and to share it with all of you guys so that you can just refer to this video and hopefully your Zonos installation won't take 4 hours as well. Alright, so let's get into it right now. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the YouTube video description and click on the first link there, which will bring you to Zonos' GitHub. So Zonos, if you don't already know, is a revolutionary text-to-speech software which is able to clone voices as well as embed emotions into the voice as well. So once you're inside of this GitHub, you can scroll down over here, you can read all of this if you want to, but we'll just skip over that and we'll go to installation over here. Since this is a Windows installation guide, we will click on this link over here, or this fork. And it'll bring us to Zonos for Windows. Alright, so let's just scroll all the way down. You can skip all of this. And you want to go to the Windows installation section over here. Alright, so once we're here, let me just make this bigger. The first thing that we have to do is we have to open an administrator PowerShell window. We can do that by pressing the window key. We'll search for PowerShell. And you want to click on this Run as Administrator option. We'll click on Yes. And then we want to copy and paste this policy. And we'll paste it here. And then we want to type in capital A or just lowercase a to yes to all. And if all goes well, then you should see that there's nothing over here. But I've also encountered the problem where this message pops up. There's a set execution policy, Windows PowerShell updated your execution policy successfully, but the setting is overridden by a policy. So if you have this error, what you can do is you can just use this command over here to override that. So I have also linked this command down in the YouTube video description if you need it. So And then we'll just paste it here, but I've already done that, so this doesn't do anything. And you should see that after using this particular command with the scope as well as the force tag, then you should see that there are no more errors. Alright, so the next step is to actually install CUDA. So you can see over here that this repo actually needs CUDA 12.4. If you click on this link, we are brought to CUDA Toolkit 12.4. If you don't know if you already have CUDA Toolkit installed, then one way would to open a new PowerShell. And then we'll type in this command, nvcc dash dash version or nvcc dash capital V. So let me just copy this command. I'll go back to my PowerShell. I can do this command. You can see that since I've already installed CUDA on my machine, there's this uh, text over here. If not, it will return an error of nvcc command not found. Yep, so if not, you should get an error, NVCC is not recognized. Now, at this point, some of you sharp ear listeners may be asking this question. Why do I have CUDA 12.6 installed if the Zonos documentation tells us that we need 12.4? Well, we actually just need a version that is above 12.4 in order to work. However, do take note that you can't just install the most recent version, which is 12.8 because you need to check your system requirements first. And how we can check our machine's system requirements is as follows. You can check it with NVIDIA-SMI, this command over here. And you should see that the system compatible CUDA version will be stated over here. So let's just do this, NVIDIA-SMI. And you can see that my CUDA version, which is compatible, is up to 12.7. So you can download any CUDA version that is before 12.7. So between 12.4 and 12.7 for me. Yeah, but do note that after running this command and you see this CUDA version over here, it does not mean that the CUDA toolkit is installed just yet. You still need to install it if you run this nvcc-version and you get 
Yep. But if you don't already have CUDA installed, then you want to select Windows x86-64 and the Windows version that you're on, which should be 11, which is the newest one. Then for the installer type, we want to select exe local. Then now we can just download this. Alright, so once the installation is done, we can just open it. For the setup package location, we can just click on OK. Then it will extract all of the installations that we need into our temporary package. Alright, so once done, you should see that the installer will pop up. So it's currently checking system compatibility. So we just wait a while, it should return no errors. Then we can just click on continue. We'll just click on agree and continue. For this, don't press on express. We want to do the custom option over here. And this is where we need to change some things. So under CUDA, we can click on this plus icon to see what we want and what we don't want. Well, we want to uncheck every one of these end site options as well as the visual studio integration option so you want to uncheck these four over here because we'll be installing them separately instead if not it'll come up with some errors we can close this next for this one we can just uncheck it for other components we can uncheck fizz x because I have the my current version is already newer than this new version that we are going to install and lastly for driver components we can just uncheck that as well and then you can click on next here again and it should prepare the installation and the installation should run without any issues Yep, after a while you should see that NVIDIA installer has finished, it shouldn't take too long, at most 2 minutes. So you can see everything that we selected was installed, we can just close out of this now. Alright, so great, we have CUDA installed now. However, if you remember, we unchecked some end site options over there. So now we have to go ahead and manually install some of these end site. So I've also already put the link down in the YouTube video description, and we have to download this end site compute 2025.1. So if you scroll down here, there's a button to do so. And then we would just want to choose Endsight Compute for Windows. So the download should appear over here. And once it's done, we can just open it. All right, so this pop-up should appear. We click on Next. We can accept the terms. Yep, we want everything. We just click on Next. And then we can just click on Install. And Endsight Compute should be successfully installed on your machine. Yep, and it has been successfully installed. So we can click on Finish. And we are done with CUDA. So. Going back to the documentation, the next step is to install VS Studio. Now, the documentation tells us to install VS Studio 2022, but the version that we actually want to install is VS Studio 2019 Community Edition. So I've also put the link to VS Studio 2019 installation guide down in the video description. So just go there and then click on it. So you can scroll down and you can just click on download installer file. And it should start the download on your machine. Once that is done, we can click on this, we can approve it, and then we just click on continue, it should do some checks for us, and you can see that I already have VS Studio 2019 installed. But for you, it should start the VS Studio 2019 installation. You also have to check this particular box over here before in when installing it. So you need to check desktop development with C++. Make sure that that is checked. Do note that the installation can take quite a long time, anywhere ranging from 5 minutes to 30 minutes depending on your network connection. So yep, don't worry if it's stuck for a while, it just takes some time to do it. Yep. So once again, make sure that desktop development with C++ is checked. And that's the only one that you really need. And now the next step is actually to clone this whole repository over here. In order to clone the repository, you actually need git. So for this, you can go to this link to this official git installation guide. And you want to click on Windows. Then you can just click on this 64-bit git for Windows setup if you already don't have git. Yep, so it should start the download and then it sh you can just run the install over here 
install and then yeah I'm removing my previous git version and setting up a new git version okay so after that we can just click on finish and we don't need to open the HTML file so that's fine yeah and now that we have git we can clone this repository over here so what you want to do is you want to open your file explorer go to the location that you want to install the Zonos file in for me I'll just choose my desktop we can click over here and we can type in cmd to open our command prompt in our desktop location so now that we have that open we can go back to this zonos for windows github over here make sure that you're in the windows one and we want to just copy this link over here so copy the link to the github and then we'll do git clone and then the link over here and I got this error over here because I've already cloned the Zonos repository to my desktop. So it already exists in my desktop over here. Alright, so once you have it in your desktop, the next thing to do would be to click on this install UV Tinglong file. So you right click on that and you want to click on run with PowerShell. It should install the necessary packages. And this could also take a couple of minutes to complete. Because I've already installed it before, this took a really short time, but for you it should take a couple of minutes. And you should see this message, install finish. So after that, you can close out of that. And next, you have to click on this run Gradio file. Make sure it is the Windows PowerShell script, not the Windows batch file. So you right click on this, and we also want to run with PowerShell. So it's setting up the MSVC environment. And this, this run Gradio script is actually the script that you want to run whenever you want to use the GUI for Zonos. So yeah, this could also take some time. And you can see that it's opened a new browser for me to use the GUI to interact with Zonos. So you can see all of these loading indicators, meaning that the script has not fully run yet. So yeah, it's still running. Alright, so yeah, now that we have Zonos over here, let's just choose some text that we want Zonos to create. We can also give it the speech for cloning. Let me give this Spongebob snippet. Oops, yeah, so I this is the Spongebob snippet that I want Zonos to be cloning. For the parameters, you can also change it, but I'll leave it all as default for now. But now this is where it gets fun, the advanced parameters. Because this is where you can specify the emotions that you want Zonos to emulate. For unconditional keys, we actually want to uncheck emotions since we want to set it ourselves. If we check emotions over here, then Zonos will sort of come up with the emotions ourselves. Themselves, sorry. But I found that it's actually good to check this pitch standard deviation because it'll just take it from the this uh, snippet that we gave it instead of having to specify it ourselves. So I like what I like to do is I like to check this pitch standard deviation. For our text, this is a very happy text, so we can just put happiness to one, maybe some surprise as well. Sadness, we can just sadness, anger, disgust, and fear, we can just leave it as zero. We can decrease neutral as well as other, but I found through experimenting that it's actually good to include other and neutral, at least some portion of other and neutral. Right, so once that is done, we can actually go ahead and generate our audio. And you can see that it's processing. So, while waiting for Zonos to generate our SpongeBob audio file, let's go ahead and recap some of the errors that you may have encountered while installing Zonos. So, the first problem is not installing CUDA toolkit. So, we can use this command nvcc dash dash version to check, make sure that you have CUDA toolkit installed. The second problem is installing the wrong version. So you need to use NVIDIA, this should be a small n, NVIDIA-SMI to check the version that you are able to, that is compatible with your local machine. And you should only download the CUDA version that is equal to or below. But it also has to be higher or at least 12.4. The third problem is that the CUDA installation is taking forever. So if you have encountered this while trying to install CUDA, then you should download VS Studio 2019 instead of 2022. 
And the last problem over here is that the CUDA installation failed. What you should do is you should download Insight Compute separately and you should uncheck all the Insight options as well as the video, Visual Studio Installer option. So you should also uncheck the GeForce driver if your laptop already has it. I'm using a Lenovo lock so it comes pre-installed and I don't need it. Yeah, so those are the four installation problems that I personally encountered. I hope that it helped you to circumvent some of these issues as well. And I hope that you're not like this guy over here who spent 17 hours of his life trying to install Zulus. Yep, so hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Oh wow, this is amazing. I can't believe this is actually happening. Everything is just perfect. And I couldn't be happier right now. Yep, so the emotions of happiness and surprise really shines through in this audio and we tried to clone Spongebob over here. Let's try giving it sadness instead. So instead of happiness, we'll give it a ton of sadness, a bit of disgust, quite a lot of fear, more neutral, more others, and a bit of anger as well. So let's generate this new audio and let's give it a listen. Alright, so the audio file is finally loaded, let's give it a listen. Oh wow! This is amazing! I can't believe this is actually happening! Everything is just perfect and I couldn't be happier right now! Alright, so obviously the emotions have changed and is emulated within this audio file over here. I didn't even think there was sort of a cry. Everything, yeah. everything is just perfect and I couldn't be happier right now! That's pretty cool. If you're interested in implementing Zonos into your own products, do check out this video over here where I teach you how to implement APIs into your mobile applications.